Hello, I would like to show you today how to export and import a code list in Atlas TI Mac. So let's say that you have a project uh, and you have a set of codes in that project, you have defined them and you have grouped those codes. And now you want to use the same set of codes with their definitions and uh, with exactly the same structure in another project. In that case, you would export that code list from project A and you would import it into project B. I will show that to you. But also, it could be that you would like to create a set of codes with their definitions in an Excel spreadsheet and then import that into a project. You can also do that and I will also show that to you today. So let me start now by exporting the project list from a given project. So you first open the project and you access the code manager, code, show code manager, alternatively, codes. Here I have a set of codes. They have been colored. They have definitions under comments and they have been grouped together um, in, in, in different groups. So I will now export this code structure and import it into another project. I will go to the top on the right side where you see the rectangle with the arrow pointing up. You click there and the third option is export code list. Now, I will save that as Excel, open in Microsoft Excel. And here we are. We have our, our, our codes and I'm going to uh, wrap text so that you can see uh, that we have uh, a column that uh, with the title codes or code. And there you have all of the codes and the codes have, have have, have colors and the colors they correspond to uh, the colors that we had in in the Atlas TI project. Uh, then we have under comments uh, what you wrote as definitions for each one of those codes and then you have uh, two other columns one for code group one and code group two. So we see that the code funding church belongs to only one code group funding while the code funding county level belongs to two, services and funding, and so on. So what I will do is I will save this, this, this code list, and now I will go to another project. So let me open another project. Let's, let's, let's see this one, new project. And I will proceed to import that code list into this project. You go to code on top, import code list, you select the file, open. You open the code manager and you will see here all the codes that were exported from the other project. You will see that they are colored the same way as they were colored in the other project. And you will also see that their comments are here and uh, you will notice that they uh, are grouped uh, in the same way as they were grouped in the other project. So exactly the same uh, code structure has been uh, moved from one project to the other or exported from one project to the other. Okay, so now what I will do is I will show you how to create a, a, a code list in Excel and then import it. Here we are. I will name the same, the first column as codes, the second one as definitions, could be comments as well. Uh, then I will, I will write down here group one, group two. Now there could be as many groups as you want and let's call this code A. 
uh, code A means A, and that belongs to group X, let's say. Now I'm going to create another one called code B. Code B means B, and this belongs to code uh, group Y as well as code group C. Code C, code C means C, and it belongs to the group X as well as the group Y. Okay? All right, now I will save this and I will go to my project and I will import it. So you see the codes that I currently have. I will go to code on top, import code list, select it. And now the three codes that you had in the in that spreadsheet they have been imported and you see their definitions and their comments and you also see that there are three new code groups x y and z and you see the colors the codes that belong to each one of them so i hope you found this useful thank you very much goodbye